My name is Delaney and I'm a student at Hamlin University and I'm here to talk to you today about what is archaeology and why it's important. You're going to see a lot of archaeology in the next couple weeks so we should probably start with some basics. My class has been doing some archaeology work at school and we're really excited to share it with you guys. You might be wondering what is archaeology? Well, it's the study of humans, history, and culture by studying things. My friend Kaya is going to explain what culture is, and then Professor Hoffman is going to explain what archaeology is and how we're doing it here, right in St. Paul. And then I'll be back at the end of the video to ask you some questions that you can answer in class. My name is Kaya, and I'm going to be talking about culture. So culture is all around us, and it's the idea that all humans living today or in the past have the same basic needs. So I want you all to take a second and pause and think about what those basic needs might be. Great, after you've taken a second to pause, do any of these things look like the items or things that you mentioned? Well, as humans, we all need food and water. We all need protection from elements like clothing and shelter. And we all need rules to live together. So in our case, living in Minnesota, we have laws so that we all know how to live together. So these are things, food, water, laws, a house, clothing, things that all humans need, no matter where we come from or who we are. And that is what makes culture. Hi, I'm Brian Hoffman and I'm an archeologist and I teach here at Hamlin University. And I'm inviting you to be a part of the next couple of weeks as my students work on an archaeological site. So what is archaeology? Archaeology is a kind of social science, so we're interested in people and we're interested in history and we're interested in culture, but we study people and history and culture by looking at things. And a lot of archaeologists dig up old things and were buried in the ground, old artifacts. Here are some artifacts that my students just found at the site that we're working on. And these are broken pieces of dishes and other kinds of ceramic bowls and a rusty old nail that's over a hundred years old. So this is one thing that archeologists study, but archeologists could study things. You can be an archeologist and study the things around you um, and use the things around you to tell us something about your culture and your history and the things that you're doing. Um, and that's part of the exercises that you'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. So I want to show you a little bit about where we're digging. And we're digging here on Hamlin campus. And here's an old photograph. This was taken around 1883, so over 140 years ago. This is a picture. And it shows what the campus looked like on this prairie um, right here where we're standing. This building here we call Old Main. And there is Old Main today. So Old Main is still here from the 1880s. The rest of these buildings are gone. In, in the 1880s, in addition to these buildings, and that's showing this map from the same time period, shows the buildings on Hamlin, Hamlin campus. Across the street was a house, and that's the house that we're excavating, and that you're gonna see what we find over the next couple of weeks. Hi friends, I hope you enjoyed those videos from Kaya and Professor Hoffman. So we'll just do a little recap of what they talked about. And so I'll start with Kaya, she was talking about culture. And culture is all humans living today or in the past have the same basic needs. So like food, water, shelter, and the laws that keep us safe. And that's what gives us culture. Archeology span is what Professor Hoffman was talking about. And archaeologists study humans, history, and culture by studying things. So I'll have some questions for you that you can share with the class um, that can tell us something about you and your family. One question is, what would archaeologists of the future be able to learn about you and the other students in the class from studying these things? Number two is, what would archaeologists of the future say about the cultures of our times from these things? So how would you sit and think about those questions and discuss them in class? 
and then we'll see you next week. So thank you guys so much for listening and see you next week.